Hey there, this is Ryan, and um, today I'm going to show you a quick way of side chaining your kick to your bass line in Ableton. So, um, what I've got in this project here is just an empty channel that I've called kick, which I'm going to drop a kick drum into. Let's just take a random one here. And I'm just going to push him over to um, each note, just get a standard side trance pattern going. And now I'm going to select this empty part of the timeline, go Command Shift M, oh, it's come unselected. Command Shift M and drop a new MIDI clip in there. And I'm just going to put some bass notes across um, this MIDI pattern. There we go, so I'll just set that at G. There's your standard bass line rhythm going. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is go over to my uh, bass line channel. Go over to my effects and grab a compressor. Now I'm going to drop the compressor over onto this baseline channel. Uh, and now I'm going to drag out this little parameter arrow. So if I click that, I'm going to get a bunch more controls. You'll see this uh, button here that says sidechain. I'm going to click that on so it turns yellow, means it's on. Take the input where it says audio from, take it from the kick. So now basically it's taking a split of the audio coming out of your kick channel and putting it into this compressor. So now when I play this, you can see on the compressor on the baseline channel, this, um, this meter here is triggering every time the kick fires. Now if I pull down this threshold um, control into the audio that's um, being sent from the kick, you can hear it start to turn down the bass at that point, and you can also see this little GR, which stands for gain reduction. This meter starts going, and um, you can see on the other side is the scale in decibels of how much it's being turned down. So at the moment, every time the kick fires at that point of the bass line, it's being turned down by about six decibels. So basically what this does, it just sticks your mix together a bit more and uh, it lets your kick and bass line both be fairly prominent and sticking through and not um, sort of be mashing together and get your bass frequencies all modelled up. But um, a few other controllers to, um, to look at on the compressor are, is the ratio, which is the ratio between how much is being sent in and then how much it's being turned down. So the ratio between um, the pretty much the gain, uh, the gain reduction and the threshold. So if you see that this is being maybe about 12 decibels is being sent through and it's being turned down by about six. So that's the ratio of two to one there, obviously. Um, <clears throat> the other controls are the attack. So this is how much time it takes as the kick drum comes into the compressor for the compressor to react and start turning down the bass line. And um, the release is the other way around where it's how long it takes for the game reduction to um, return back to normal after the kick drum has been fired. So you can see if I push this release right out, the gain reduction is just pretty much sitting flat. So it doesn't have time to return to zero. But as I make the release smaller and smaller, you're getting less and less compression um, and it's returning back to zero smaller at a smaller amount of time. So um, that's the basics of kick to bass compression. <clears throat> um, thanks for watching. Uh, go to rhinosaurus.com for more tutorials. Cheers.